Sometimes when I tell people that I collect almost exclusively Jabba the Hutt related items, they react as if it's maybe too limiting a focus or uh, too specific for a collection, but if you want a really specific collection, how about Jabba the Hutt hats? Yes, I have sort of a sub-collection, you could say, of uh, just Jabba the Hutt related hats. And, uh, you know, it's not a huge one, but uh, there probably are more than you might expect. So let's uh, take a look at the first one here. This is my oldest one, the first one I think that was made. This is uh, from 1983, which is of course the year that Return of the Jedi came out. And uh, as you can see, it's a sort of trucker style hat. This is made by uh, Sales Corporation of America, and you can see here the tag says here, Sales Corporation of America presents the Star Wars collection. So they had a few of these in different styles. On the back we have a cool Darth Vader with stars, a star pattern. Uh, according to this, it was originally co it originally cost uh, three ninety eight, and it says Jedi baseball cap. Uh, I think this is a pretty cool one, actually. I mean, first of all, just the idea that they have a whole hat just devoted to Jabba as a character, I think, is is rather amusing. Somebody would, you know, want to wear this um, at the time. And it's also, it's surprisingly uh, well done. It uses this sort of same line art pattern um, drawing that we've seen on a lot of the vintage stuff from this era, but it's very nicely colored in, and it's, you know, got some extra detail that I haven't seen on a lot of them, including, if we can get a little closer look, his uh, barbecue in the background, which it really was in the film, and he's got smoke coming out of his uh, hookah pipe there, which is very unusual. I think this may be the only case that I've seen where he actually has smoke coming out. I'm not positive, but uh, definitely unusual for that. Um, it's not unusual to have him smoking, but actually showing the smoke is another matter. Now, uh, as I said, Sales Corporation of America did a few of these. I do have one other that's kind of related, and that is uh, this one here, which is a little bit wrinkled. It is the Gamorrean Guard hat. And this, if anything, this is even <laughs> funnier uh, to me because, uh, you know, just just having a hat dedicated to Gamorrean Guards is, is hilarious, frankly. Uh, and, you know, they've got three of them there. They've got, I don't even know what this is in the background. It looks like there's a stairway or something in the background. This is a very unusual uh, pattern. Although, one interesting thing, uh, I, I just noticed this right now. I don't know if you can tell what this is, if you look closely, but uh, this is actually the chimes that were hanging in Jabba's palace. And very, if you, I don't know if they, you can even see this, uh, in fact, you can't, you really can't see it even in person, but uh, it, in the movie, the chimes had little hangers on them that were shaped like huts. Uh, and that's kind of cool. That's, that details on this hat. I never even noticed that. I'm not sure what this is about. Maybe it is stairs. But it's a bit of an unusual design. This hat is from 1996, and it's from the company called Fresh Caps. It is, uh, kind of, you know, this is a bit of a judgment call. I should probably talk a little bit about what I consider to be a job of the Hut hat. If, if it's a hat that just happens to have, like, a poster from Return of the Jedi on it and Jabba's on the poster, or, or something along those lines, I wouldn't really consider that to be a Jabba hat. This one, however, um, I mean, he, you've got Jabba here, you've got Bib Fortuna, you've got Han and Carbonite, and Luke, which is the, uh, the Luke image from the Sail Barge. And so I feel like this one is definitely uh, sort of Jabba-centric hat. Um, he's got some... Stitching there. It's a little bit of an odd design. It's not really, you know Aesthetically, it's not really my favorite. It's a little weird um, although Fresh Caps uh, Also in 1996 did put out a completely Jabba hat Which is this one and as you can see we have the Jabba image on the front and a rather large uh, Jabba the Hutt logo or text there on the side. It's a little bit odd. They did a number of these, as I recall, for different characters in the same style, but a little weird. Yeah. Also, this next hat is from the company New Era, 
and it is one of their uh, snapback hats. This is also a little bit of a weird design, to be honest with you, because you've got, okay, sort of an, uh, a patch of the droids in front here, and that's, that's okay, I guess. And in the back you have um, a black and white image of Ralph McQuarrie's uh, painting of Jabba the Hutt's palace, but then you have, you know, another one of the droids here. Uh, so it just seems a little weird to have them in both places. The image of the, the palace has been kind of not perfectly stitched together on, on both of these panels. And, I don't know, it just seems a little weird, but, uh, yeah, Jabba's Palace, the only, probably the only Jabba's Palace hat in existence. We have over here sort of the Rebel Alliance symbol, and then the New Era logo. I have a number of uh, New Era caps, and in fact, uh, well, this one is not my favorite by any means, but um, my favorite of my uh, Jabba hats are, in fact, made by New Era. So the first of the New Era hats that I want to talk about is this one, and this is uh, my favorite of them, probably. It's my one of my favorite items, probably, in my collection altogether. And that is, well, because there's a bit of a story behind it. Now, New Era released a whole collection of Star Wars caps, fitted caps, in Japan in, uh, I believe it was 2010. And they had a bunch of different characters, including Jabba, um, they were, you know, a Japan exclusive, although I guess, you know, you could get them on eBay or you could have them imported uh, otherwise. But the interesting thing about this cap is that it was actually discontinued, and um, they only ever made a few of these. Only ever made size 7.5, which is this one. And uh, the reason I have this is that I just happened to be in Japan on business when they were released, and, uh, you know, I, had, I knew they were about to be released. I figured I would be able to just get one without any problem. Um, but on the day they were to be released, I looked on the maker's website and I saw that uh, all the references to this particular hat had been removed. And I was like, what is going on? So I fired off a quick email to them. I, I speak and write Japanese. So I, you know, I was like, what's going on here? I'm a crazy Java collector. I really want this hat. <laughs> and so... Uh, they wrote back to me and said, well, uh, they had to stop production because of some kind of manufacturing defect or issue. I, they never told me what it was, but um, in the end, they only made a few of these, and only in size 7.5. So, um, luckily, I happened to be, you know, there at the time, and I was able to find um, an online store that did have one. They, they released a very small number and uh, had it sent to my hotel, and I, I was able to get it just, just a, like a couple of days before I was to leave the country. So, you know, it's just, it's kind of a cool thing for me that I have one of the, the few that they made. Now, I have seen one or two of these um, in other people's collections. Though they're not, like, super-duper rare, but I have, I've also had people offer me quite a bit of money for this cap. Um, but it's not for sale. It's one of my favorites. Now, if we look at it... Uh, this face part and, and the, the brim is, is done in a kind of faux snakeskin material. And I wonder if maybe it was this or the embroidery or something that was the problem um, that caused them to be canceled. They've got uh, quite a bit of embroidery here in the mouth and nose and then also for his wrinkles which are done in gold. And the eyes in particular are pretty impressive. They've managed to recreate Jabba's eyes really well, I think, actually. I think from the side it looks the best, actually, because you can see the green more. Um, on the back, it's just sort of a green material, basically, with the Star Wars logo on one side, and then we have uh, the New Era logo here, and Jabba's clan symbol, which is his tattoo, on the other side. Now, uh, if you turn it over, there's one more surprise, though, and that is... Ba -bum, an image of... The real Jabba with Leia and Salacious Crumb. And I think all of the uh, Star Wars caps that they made had some kind of cool image like this on the bottom. But I really like that. It's a nice touch. Now, one of the reasons I decided to make this video today was that uh, very recently I discovered that the company Hatlam.com was selling um, a sort of new collection of New Era Star Wars caps. Um, and one of these is this one right here, which I will show you. 
And as you may be able to tell, it's very similar in design uh, and overall concept. I mean, it's 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 totally different in probably, you know, <laughs> if you look at each um, part of the cap, the materials it's made of and the design, it, it's not as if they've just redone this cap, but it is definitely um, inspired by it, I think. I mean, it, it's hard to believe that they didn't have this cap at least sort of in the back of their mind when they designed this one. Now, um, this one is done in a sort of a pleather material, fake leather, and I would say probably just in terms of the Java design, it's it's a better design, it's more, it's easier to see, it's easier to tell what it is probably for the average person. Um, eyes, I don't like, I don't know if I like the eyes quite as well, but they do have, if you can tell, a sort of clear plastic covering over them, which makes them look a little bit more like eyes. So that's kind of cool. Now, uh, this one does not have anything on the brim, but it does have a picture of Jabba here on the inside of the dome and here as well. I think that's really cool. Um, this cap is still available at the hatland.com website for around 60 or so dollars. This cap was sold by uh, Spencer Gifts uh, fairly recently. I think it was probably 2014 or thereabouts. It doesn't have a date on it. Um, it is, of course, not completely dedicated to Jabba. It's got a variety of characters here, but he is fairly prominently placed on the back. And I thought that was kind of cool. Just a, just an ordinary um, sort of comic book ex inspired design, but uh, not a bad one. The last of the hats I'd like to show you today is a bit different. It's not a baseball style cap. This is in fact a knit cap. And this was a Celebration 6 exclusive. Uh, from back in 2012. This, uh, you know, you could only get if you went to Celebration 6, or if you knew someone who went there, or, you know, I mean, you can get these on eBay at, uh, right around the time of the show, of course, too. On the back, it says, Jabba the Hat, which I think is pretty appropriate. This, um, I should no I should note, is the only one of these hats that I ever actually wear at any time. Uh, I, I'm just not a hat person, to be honest with you, in terms of wearing them. But I do occasionally, you know, when it's cold outside, I need a knit hat of some kind, so I put this one on. And, you know, it's it's also... It's not quite so over-the-top as some of these ones. Um, you know, a lot of people might not even necessarily notice it if you kind of rolled it up like this or something. Um, but... I think it's a cute one. I, I'm a fan of this hat. So that's my Jabba the Hutt hat collection. As far as I know, that's all the ones that are really uh, dedicated to Jabba as a character. And there are a couple of them just thrown in for for the heck of it as well. Have you seen any other ones that I might be interested in? Uh, I'd be interested to know if you've uh, if you know of any that I don't know about. And uh, I'd also like to know which of these is your favorite. Let me know in the comments, and thanks, as always, for watching.